Happy Australia Day in June. I hope that you're all well, staying safe and getting to enjoy what is one of our most amazing celebrations of the year, Australia Day. I really was looking forward to coming out and seeing you all and, and exploring the great countryside around you. So I hope at some point in the future you might consider inviting me back. For today though, I really do want to acknowledge firstly the traditional owners of the lands on which we're all gathered. For you in, in Inju, I understand it's the Gungabula people. And here in Logan where I am, it's the Yagara and the Jugara people. I also would like to acknowledge and thank Mayor Tyson Golder and the Maranoa Shire Council for inviting me to be part of your celebrations this year for Australia Day 2022. You know, I often tell people I have the best job in the world. I get to welcome and settle and newly arrived refugees and migrants as they come into Australia, into Queensland. I get to see our beautiful country through the eyes of new people as they experience what it means to be an Australian, albeit a new Australian, but to be an Australian. I often talk about the fives when I use um, a way of describing my work. And I, I think for us, whether we've arrived and we've been here five minutes, or whether we've lived here five years, or perhaps it's 50 years, or in the case of my own family from Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales, five generations, or for our Indigenous Australians, 50,000 plus years. No matter how long or what pathways we took to get here, we're here now and we all belonged. And what a great country to be part of as we can sit together and enjoy a wonderful day like Australia Day. You know, in taking on the theme of Australia Day where we respect, reflect and celebrate, I can think of no better job to do or to give you an account of than the work that I do. I was going to share with you today a story of a young man who came as a refugee from Burundi. He had to escape his country, lived in a refugee camp and was eventually resettled to Australia. He arrived with one small bag and it was pretty expensive to get housing for a single man. So he lived for a couple of months with my parents who are long-term volunteers in our community. And he was just a beautiful young man, so grateful. To, to be here and so happy to share what it means to be part of this great country. And he wanted, his dream, his goal was to study the Bible, become a minister and preach. That was his goal. And he's achieved that. 10 years after wanting that as a goal, he actually went through the ministry, he became a preacher and he was sent back to Malawi to plant a church and to be a mission. He's a wonderful young man and he is exactly the example of what we, we bring into our country, the people who come here to share our great values and respect our laws and be part of our great society. He came back recently with his family and he sees my parents as his parents and he wanted to thank them for walking that journey with them. It's more than giving people food and a house um, you know, learning English, they're all really important things. But people come with hopes and they come with dreams and they have goals. And there's no greater goal than reaching your full potential and truly contributing as an equal citizen in our wonderful country. And as he travels Australia sharing his story of what it meant to be a missionary, an African going back to Africa, planning a church and being a, minute, a, a mission, he also remembers very well and is so grateful to the way he was welcomed and included and part of the Australian family. And when I think of his story, I actually think of the regional and rural communities like in June and like the Maranoa Shire Council and the way that, you know, organisations like the CWA and other volunteer groups, many of which sit in your communities, um, have really played such an important part of welcoming and settling people. And I just hope that your journey continues to be one of welcome and inclusion and celebration that we're all part of this great story, the Australian story. So please stay safe, enjoy your Australia Day. I hope you get to do some fun and exciting things. Uh, and I really do hope to be able to come out in person one day and visit you. Happy Australia Day in June.